One of the reasons that Python is so useful is that there are a number of packages that we can install that extend the capabilities of Python. If we want uh, MATLAB-like functionality, you know, matrices, numerical analysis, we use NumPy. SciPy has optimizers, uh, differential equation solvers, you know, a number of other packages within SciPy. Matplotlib helps us plot. Pygame helps uh, develop a graphical user interface and games. Excel Wings allows us to interface with Excel. Uh, we have others like OpenCV that does computer vision, etc., etc. Okay, so a lot of different packages. But it can be very frustrating to install some of these packages, uh, it, you know, for different distributions of Python and making sure that they're all going to be compatible. So we want to talk just briefly today about how to install packages in Python and uh, be able to add on some of this functionality that you might need. Uh, for a game or for your program or uh, whatever it might be. Okay, so a couple different ways to, to do this. One way is to just install um, a distribution that includes most of these packages for you. So that's, for example, Anaconda uh, is a very nice one and it includes uh, many of these. The current one does not include, for example, Pygame. Okay, we're going to go through an example though on how to do uh, install from python.org okay and then uh, and then we can get packages through installable uh, package managers okay to be able to install from uh, from downloading an MSI um, or an executable file and then it will try to determine the uh, where to put the the files or another way to do it is through a program called pip okay and pip is very nice because it will um, go out to the package and, and uh, grab that for you and install it so the command is pip install and then let's say we had uh, we wanted to install excel wings for example okay uh, that would be our command to be able to install excel wings so we're gonna we're gonna go through both of these we'll uh, do one and two just to show you how to install some of these Python packages. First thing that I want to do is just um, I'm going to go and just clean out my Python distributions that are on this computer right now and so I can do that um, if you just come here to search for programs uh, you can go to apps and features or down to add and remove programs okay so if you just select apps and features then it'll show you all of the different um, apps or programs that are on your computer. Another way to get to that is by just searching here. Open up the, uh, the start uh, button and then go to settings and then go to system and then you can go to apps and features. Okay, it'll by default sort by size so I'm just going to sort by name just so I can see all of the different Python uh, files that are here. Okay, so here are the uh, Python files. You know, I'm just going to go ahead and uninstall all of these and uh, you know just remove them. It's going to take me a little bit of time just to do that, so I'll pause the video just as I'm uninstalling these, and then I'll start it again after I've uninstalled all of those. Okay, so there it is. I'm removing Python and uh, the place where it's stored. Okay, so it's going to remove it, but the place where Python by default is installed is on your uh, C drive and then I've got Python 2.7, Python 3.4 and then I also have Anaconda. So those are the three distributions that I currently have on the computer. I'll go ahead and just um, erase, uh, get rid of those from this package manager. Okay, so you want to do that from the package manager. Uh, don't just delete the folders um, that are there. Okay, um, but we'll go ahead and just clean that up and then start fresh again and I'll show you how to install Python 2.7 and then also some of the packages. Okay, we're back now. Uh, all of the Python is gone from the computer. And what we'll do is we'll um, now go to python.org. So uh, this is the first one that I'll install. Just come here and go to downloads. Um, you can go to you know, all releases here if you want to. Uh, if you just select downloads, um, and then your appropriate um, appropriate one that you're going to download for Windows or Mac, uh, you'll be able to get that here. I'm going to do Python 2.7 just because uh, <clears throat> more packages are still compatible with 2.7 versus 
uh, 3.5 although it's getting a lot better okay so um, I'll go ahead and install that but really you can install either one um, just for this tutorial I'll go through 2.7 Okay, so uh, we've got, it's running a security kit scan right now, and then hopefully we'll uh, check out. Um, and uh, so one of the things that you know, makes people nervous is just downloading a lot of different packages from the internet and installing those. Uh, Python.org is a pretty good, safe place. Um, there's some other sites that I'll recommend as well where you can get some of these packages from. Okay, so if I come into uh, here, I'll see that it downloaded to my downloads folder and then if I just uh, double click this it will let me um, run it and then I'll be able to install Python you have the option of doing an all users or just for me I'm going to do all users and then don't change this uh, default path we'll just do C colon slash Python 27 okay and then uh, just go ahead and click next and it'll walk you through uh, just copying the files down. Okay, so we have the base Python package installed, but we still need um, a lot of these extra add-on packages that make Python really useful. And so I'll show you how to install some of those as well. Okay, so once this finishes, um, then what we're going to do is is just start a new command prompt and then try to use pip, um, which is a, a program that allows you to add in packages to your Python distribution. Okay, so once this is finished, then, um, okay, so it's gonna go through, it's gonna do some setup tools. It does install pip as well, so that's already installed. Um, but it's gonna go through these, uh, you know, collecting some of these base, you know, just the basic things with Python, okay, just the very, very basic things. But we can't do a lot with the, just the base Python package. Okay, so I'm gonna go ahead and close this. You can delete that MSI. Um, if you want there the MSI file but let's just go to our C drive and uh, we have Python 2.7 right here okay so here is our Python program right here that is going to run uh, our Python scripts okay and then we have um, some of our uh, different packages in the lib file in the lib folder okay and then we also have pip here in the uh, in the scripts folder all right so in order to be able to use pip um, just go ahead and open up a command prompt uh, go ahead and run something called cmd or command prompt okay so when that runs it's going to start up in kind of a base uh, you know base area but i want to actually change my directory to c um, and you can see it right there, C colon slash Python 27 slash scripts, okay? So that's the one that I want to change it to uh, right there. And so C colon slash Python 27 slash uh, scripts. Oh, uh, let's see if that did it. Okay, yeah, so it's C colon, I forgot the closing parentheses, but it took care of that. Or uh, closing double quotes. Okay, so now I can run pip um, for example okay so there's pip it tells me how to use it um, I'll put this up here just make it a little bit bigger uh, there we go okay so there is uh, there's pip so we want to do uh, pip uh, install and then we'll just start with matplotlib okay so it's gonna go out and try to find a compatible version with uh, the the version that we just installed and it's going to go ahead and download matplotlib for us okay so it went out to the web find, found the uh, install file and then it's going to go ahead and install it and it'll also look for some dependencies as well like for example numpy it needed that too in order to be able to run matplotlib so it went out and got numpy as well so this is a like a package manager so it's trying to find um, all of the files that it needs in order to be able to run matplotlib. It needed pyparsing, it needed dateutil, and it needed pytz, cycler, and a couple other ones. Okay, so it's going to run and it's going to say there is an error. All right, there's an error. Trying to install um, some of this. So sometimes it works well, sometimes it doesn't. It was trying to build some things in. Uh, in NumPy, I believe. Okay, so NumPy 
have some of these errors. I've never had pip do very well for NumPy for me, so let me show you how to go get the package for that. Okay, so we're going to go get the package for NumPy, and then we'll come back to pip. So if it doesn't work through pip, then you can do uh, like download NumPy, and uh, let's just get um, so you can install it. Um, you can get SourceForge is a good place to get it. Okay, so NumPy on SourceForge, I like to get it from from this site. It's probably one of the more popular sites to get it from. Um, and then just go ahead and select NumPy, and so you can see which ones are the most popular. You know the downloads per week there. So just go with the the more popular ones. If you have like a release you know, B or something like that off to the side. It means it's not a, a stable release yet. It's still under development. But this one looks like a major release uh, right here. Okay, so just kind of scroll over. We have, here's the Python 2.7. There's a Python 3.3. And then a Python 3.4. Okay, it's a super pack, Python 3.4. We want the 2.7. So you can see this one is uh, still one of the more popular ones. Or you can just get the source files and the zip. Okay, we're just going to go with the installer, the executable. And if we just download that, um, then it will start the download in just a couple seconds and then download um, NumPy. Okay, so it's kind of big. It's, uh, you know, quite a few megabytes. SciPy will be a lot bigger. Um, but uh, so I just noticed with PIP, it doesn't do very well with this NumPy. So I'm just going to do this one first and then go back to PIP and do the rest of them. Okay, so I'll go ahead and pause it again and then pick up again once NumPy is downloaded. Okay, so just finished downloading. Um, what we're going to do now is go ahead and just uh, run it. Okay, so you can uh, wait for it to pop up there to allow you to run it. Or you can just come to your downloads um, and go ahead and get the NumPy. I'm going to run that and it's going to ask me if I want to install it. It'll extract it and uh, so this is where the Python directory where you want to uh, install it. Found that in the registry. That's good. And then just go ahead and keep those as default and then go ahead and install NumPy. Okay. So um, there we go. NumPy is installing and it is done okay so finish and then we'll close this okay I'm gonna come back to my um, back to my pip now and let's just go ahead and do a pip install and then let's try matplotlib again and just see if that works so it said um, we're gonna collect you know we're gonna go through and get the matplotlib it'll probably say it's already installed okay so it'll go a little bit quicker and it said, I think it already said that Python, or that these other ones, were NumPy was already installed. Okay, so requirement is already satisfied. And then it'll go get uh, some of these other packages that it needs, like PyParsing 6, Python Date Util. Okay, so you could go and download all these individually. PIP just makes it really nice because it sees what you need and then goes and downloads it for you. Okay, let's also make sure we have SciPy. Um, I'm going to do SciPy as well. Um, okay, so it's going to go out and get uh, SciPy for me. Oh wow, this is okay. This is kind of faster than doing it through the other, uh, the you know, downloading it from the internet. Okay. Um, all right, and then it'll go ahead and install it for me, and then I'll have SciPy as well. So we're going to get um, Excel wings and then uh, allow you to be able to interact with Excel. And then I also want to show you how to get Pygame as well onto your, onto your computer. Okay. Um, all right. So it's installing uh, SciPy right now. And then we will get... Um, okay. Then we'll go ahead and go for Excel wings. Okay. Okay, I'm going to plug in too. All okay, another error there for SciPy. So, this is good to see, you know, if you if you get these kind of errors, sometimes you just have to go and and uh, you know, just had a hard time doing it through um, 
the setup tools here. Okay, so let's just go get SciPy too. Okay, that's not a. Um, so we'll do uh, SciPy download and then just go grab that one. Okay, and I'm just going to go ahead, go to SourceForge and grab it from here. Okay, so here it is. Um, coming to SciPy. Let's see, I don't think this is the right place. Let me go back and get to the uh, the main SourceForge. Okay, I'm going to cancel that one. Okay, so we can click download here, and then I want to be able to select which package. That last one just brought me to a, a download right away. Uh, you know what, that is doing it for me. Let me see what it, it downloads. It's a 3.4. Okay, so I don't want the 3.4 version. I want the... Uh, 2.7. Okay, so let's get um, let's go under files and then we'll go with SciPy and we'll go um, you know the more popular one that you can look at downloads per week there. Okay, and then if we go to the uh, Super Pack for that is the uh, 3.4. There's the 3.3 and there's the 2.7. So I want to get the 2.7 instead of the default. Okay, and then that will download the 2.7 version for me. So sometimes there are 64 or 32 bit. Um, I'm just going to do, I've just been doing these 32 bit uh, Win32. Um, you know, so some packages aren't in 64 bit. Even if you have a 64 bit computer, it'll still run 32 bit applications okay so this one's just a little bit longer of a download you can see it's going to take just a little bit over this wireless uh, connection uh, I think it's a few tens of um, megabytes uh, for the download so I'll go ahead and pause it right now and then when it's done then we'll start again okay this is almost done downloading 97% uh, of the way there just a few seconds left once it finishes downloading, we'll go take a look at it. Okay, so let's go to um, let's go just take a look at it in our downloads folder and just see how um, this file is 65 megabytes. Okay, so you can run this executable. You just make sure when you're running this that you get the 2.7 um, or the one that's compatible with your Python version. And uh, there it says path direct Python directory. Go ahead and just leave those as defaults. You don't need to change any of that. It's ready to install. Just click next, next, next. Okay. And so it will go through and uh, go through all of these, um, and install them. Okay. You can see it installing all of these. And then what it'll do is it'll compile them as well to make them run a little bit faster. So it's kind of installing the source code right now. And then uh, when you run it. Um, Sometimes over the first time it'll compile it so that when you run it again it'll be a little bit faster. Okay, so now we have this. Um, you know, now if I run, um, you know, pip uh, install uh, scipy, it's going to say that it already has it there. It's already satisfied. Okay, so we can also do upgrades through the pip package as well. So let's go out and get. Um, okay, let's do Excel wings. Uh, that's another one that we need. It'll collect the package and then uh, download it, install it, okay. So it also needed uh, com types and a couple other uh, packages there as well. It's just running the setup. That one it looked like it successfully completed, so we didn't need to go out to the web and get that one, okay. So now let's get um, one that I don't think is going to work is going to be Pygame. So let's just try Pygame. It's going to go out and Try to find Pygame, and it said no matching distribution found for Pygame. Okay, so we know it exists. We just got to go get it, just like our other ones. Um, so we'll do a download uh, Pygame. So Pygame is a nice way that a lot of the games are written in in Pygame. And uh, you know, before I install it, let me just show you a game. For example, um, I'll do Angry Birds uh, Python. Okay. So there's a little video here of the Angry Birds. Uh, it, this is on uh, GitHub, um, and they have some files. I'm just going to go ahead and download the zip file, okay, to be able to do this Angry Birds. 
uh, game. It's about four megabytes. Uh, actually, it's more than that. About ten megabytes, it looks like. And then come to uh, downloads, um, extract this file, and okay, so it's going to extract it um, to that same folder. Okay, and once it's done extracting, then we can go into here and try to play the Angry Birds game, but it's going to use, it's going to need Pygame. Okay, so I'm going to open this up, go into Source, uh, right-click on Main, and just select Edit with IDLE. That'll open it up, and then when I click Run, and then F5, or Run, game, run it's going to say uh, No Module Named Pygame. Okay, so this is one way to discover what you're going to need as well. Is now we got to go out and get the package or the module named Pygame. Okay, so it didn't work through pip. Let's just go back to the website and we'll download Pygame. Okay, and I'm just going to go to this uh, this pygame.org, and it's just a list of installable files, different versions. You can see kind of a, a development version here, you know, this um, this A0 right here, you know, that's uh, 1.9.2 A0, that's kind of a, um, you know, they may not have worked all the bugs out of that release. The last stable release is typically doesn't have that, um, so I'm going to go 1.9.1, and um, I'm going to go ahead and get, um, there it is, so it's a Python, you know, 2.7. Okay, Win32, 32-bit, 2.7 version, and just go ahead and download that. Okay, so that's going to download the installer. Okay, and let's go back to here. We'll go get Pygame and install for all users. And it found the Python directory. Sometimes if you have Anaconda or other distributions, it'll install it uh, for those instead. So you just got to make sure that you install it to the right place. Okay. So now we have Pygame and let's go and um, just run this again and see if it's going to work. Okay. There we go. We got our Angry Birds going and we can play um, Angry Birds um, in Python with Pygame. Okay. So, um, okay, so that's how, it, that's how to install Pygame. Um, basically, I just wanted to show you um, how to install these packages. Um, you, again, just to review, you can use pip. Uh, you just gotta go to this uh, directory right here that you see, um, you know, this directory right down here, the C colon uh, Python 27 slash scripts, and then inside there, you'll see, um, you'll see the pip um, executable. Okay, so uh, and then, you know, so some of them installed well that way, so I had to go down to the web and get those packages, but I think I've installed most of these now, and if you come into here, you'll see, you know, these Python uh, packages that you installed. If you installed any of them through the package installer, it'll show up here. If not, if you just installed it through pip, they won't show up in your list of programs. Okay, well that concludes uh, this tutorial on how to just install some of these packages. Um, you know, there's there's a lot of other packages that are really good in Python. It's part of what makes Python, you know, very valuable and extensible.